welcome to the webinar covering uh, how to implement the new member capstone experience. My name is Dave Siri. I'm the Director of Chapter Services at the Central Office. I'm going to walk you through some of the background for, for the purpose of the capstone experience as well as some, uh, some implementing it with your new members. I'm familiar with the concept of a capstone project through school. Uh, essentially, it is enough to encapsulate everything that you've done learned over a period into one defining moment uh, or one defining product that you can take from there. And that's really the genesis of what we're trying to do here is men are spending eight weeks getting to know the organization, getting to know each other, learning more about themselves. And I want this to be an opportunity to help them bridge that gap between being a new member and being an initiated brother. Too many times we see men go through the eight-week program, and once they become initiated, they find their way into the chapter, sit in the back of the room during meetings, not very involved from there on out. So the mission is, is that this becomes uh, some gateway into initiating a new membership, and not just a stopping point uh, along their membership. The focus for the new member program are really looking at these four areas. Intellectual advancement, looking at their efforts in the classroom, their pursuits, and whatever personal interests they have that would fall in the intellectual realm. The community looks at volunteerism, philanthropy, kind of identifying what are the causes is they are passionate about, about engagement and uh, looks at understanding dealt values being an active member in the ch chapter. And then leadership growth, growth is uh, a little bit more of a, a personal initiative seeking out opportunities to grow as a leader. And that may come from the fraternity. Uh, the fraternity may support efforts that they take beyond Delta to Delta to develop as a leader. process that we're going to look at for the experience is first off the definition and why look at what has brought them here where they want to go and outline some action steps I have a copy of, of the count here go through and see what it looks like and this can write out of the participant manual for the new member education. So this will be what new members see uh, when they get to meeting six. The intention here isn't for this to become another worksheet or, or a homework assignment. We really want you to encourage new members to take time to develop this. Uh, this is something that's going to be kind of their personal roadmap uh, for their life both in the fraternity and outside the fraternity several years. So first off, we talk about the definition phase. Here, we are looking for each new member to define what realms mean for them. When we put together this program, we have an idea that intellectual advancement should include something from the classroom, uh, but it's something more for uh, an individual member. There might be pursuits outside college that he he's looking to accomplish uh, that honor here. So that step is, is really finding what that means for each of them. The new member educator, it's your task to get him uh, through the process and, and help them come up with some definable realm of, of what that means. We talk about defining the why. And it's a little bit open-ended for the men. Uh, familiar with the Start With Why TED Talk, it really creates a foundation for these men as they build out this plan. Uh, the why might be so that they can set themselves up to uh, achieve their goal. Why might be because they are about to make a commitment to an organization and to other to be leaders on their campus. It's the why that, that establishes the foundation and keeps them going year after year. It's important for them 
to define them define this on their own. Uh, the why not be because I'm being told to do it or because it's required for initiation. We want them to dig a little bit deeper and into the purpose behind building this capstone uh, pro product. And to what shape me. And here we want the new members to have a bit of reflection of, of how they got to this point in their life within the four realms, uh, we want to consider what helped them develop in this point. So for actual advancement, that might be looking at the classes they took in school. That might be uh, inspirational teachers they've had or mentors they had uh, in high school that help get to their, where they are today. And the importance here is that they understand kind of the tools and the skill sets that they already have. And the idea, you can't figure out where you're going unless you know where you are. And this is where we want them to consider that. Uh, for involvement, that might be things they did with their church or through Boy Scouts. Helped shape the person they are today and got them to, to this point kind of on that, uh, that threshold of man manhood. Now, this is where it starts to get a little, a little fun is and consider where they want to be in the future. And we down into five different uh, timelines. And each time is going to look a little bit different. First, we get six weeks. Now, we're thinking six weeks beyond initiation. And we pick six weeks because we figure a lot of times chapters have initiation toward the end of the semester or quarter. And right they might be rolling into finals and then into winter break. Uh, so when you look at six weeks into the future, you're thinking about, all right, when I start the next term, I'm going to be initiated brother. Um, I have learned uh, what I need to, pay, to fulfill the requirements for my new member program. And I need to be an active contributing member. What then? Get them to consider when they are uh, a second file member of the chapter, where does involvement begin, and what does that look, look like? Thinking within those those four realms that we established at the very beginning, we want them to consider uh, that might be this, uh, their second term in college. And so they'll be able to look at how they did in their first term. Did they do well, or is there room for improvement? They can think there. Uh, involvement, uh, have they gotten involved where they feel they need to be? Are they feeling that? Uh, that, that, that obligation of membership. That first six weeks there, that's really where they're, they're going to start to become an active member on their campus and within the chapter. And then one year and two years out. Uh, here, we want them to continue to be a little bit more specific uh, about, uh, for uh, actual advancement, you know, maybe mapping out the courses they want to take. Uh, looking at uh, being connected with their, their academic advisor. Leadership growth. Maybe they're saying a year from now they want to be on the administrative committee. They want to be an active member, uh, some kind of chapter that's driving the annual philanthropy event. Uh, here, I want them to be thinking specifics. Uh, it would be good if there are some specific deadlines for the goals they want to achieve. So we're near in two years. Years out. Now, in the five and ten years out, this is where you get into a little more of the the vision development, uh, graduation. Where do the men see themselves? Where do they want to start going? Uh, you see, in your own experience, you know people on campus that don't think about life after graduation until you're the senior year, and then a little bit too late. They're, they're behind the eight ball, scrambling, scrambling a little, a little bit. You can get our new members thinking about what does life after graduation look like, start to uh, some of the steps to get themselves established early on. Like I said, in six weeks, one year, two years, we're looking more specific. What are the accomplishments? What are the goals? What are the deadlines that they have to set up for themselves? 
by 10 years, this might be a little more high level, may not be quite as defined. It might be uh, a actual advancement that they want to find a job in this field, but they don't quite know what that job is. is their senior year in college. Time working on their where they want to be in that time period. They talk about action steps. So before before this, we're just defining where we want to be. Now the action steps. This is where we start to talk about how we get there. Again, this is where you're going to need to help them think out. All right, a year from now, I want to be the you president know, of a club. I'm in on campus. They might need some guidance to figure out how exactly does that start to happen. Or to be admitted to say the school on their campus. And you might need to coach them on see out an older brother who's already in the business school or working with an academic advisor who can help them get there. The important thing is this is not meant to be a here's what I will start tomorrow. Um, to feed into the idea of procrastination, this should be a statement of here is what I am doing. I am going to uh, make, make this happen. I am working on X, Y, Z. And what made this whole capstone experience really interesting is the whole idea of sharing the idea. Whole comp a project is put together, we want them to share it with other people in their lives. In the manual, we outline that we're looking the people to share this with to be maybe the chapter advisor or another volunteer who works with the group. It could be their campus advisor, their big brother, or a non greek person, a friend, a family member, a mentor, etc. We all know that if someone writes down their goals, they're much more likely to achieve them. We also know that if you share your goals with other people, that odds of you achieving those goals increase exponentially. This is all an opportunity for that brother to include other folks in his life in his experience. Now, doing this help you facilitate this whole process. It's not going to be a sit down one night put this together, we would encourage you to make that known to the new members. It's partially that we insert this in meeting six, it's because them to take time and work through. It, there might be a few different drafts that uh, go into making this. Now the idea of the process, the follow-up, uh, is in the guide that a potential new member could post this onto Delts Connect in a DocuShare folder. I think that this is really what's going to help make this uh, experience work is that there's somebody working with that new member who can facilitate that accountability piece. The big brother uh, might be having new member class reunions once a year where they come together and they share the progress they've made on their capstone experience and where they are as far as reaching their goals. I think also, as your chapter uh, goes in and has to do with this, it could be beneficial to bring your news this year back next year or the year after to help facilitate some of these uh, this process with future new member classes uh, and just some of what they learn as they put together uh, this capstone experience. We think that this is a really unique part of the new member program that has not been seen before and hoping that it's going to pay off dividends, not just in an individual's life, because certainly this puts them on the road to success, but we also foresee that this leads to more active brothers and less of men who, for some reason, feel disengaged after uh, their freshman and sophomore year. So as you I put my contact information on this page here, feel free to reach out to me at any time you'd like to discuss. I'd love to learn and, and, and this process is working within your chapter and see what we can do to create uh, 
the best new member experience we can.